Hey fifth grade cellos, uh, this is a lesson video for another one of your concert songs that was in your packet from uh, when school first uh, kind of closed down. This is Bilem Cabbage Down. And uh, again, if you don't have this music, please email me or Mrs. Schmidt and we'll get you another copy as soon as we can. Uh, this song though, you're going to have a great time with this. It's the same rhythm that we were working on when we did Shorten and Bread. So it's that blueberry rhythm where you have a long note, a quarter note, and then two short ones, two eighth notes. So it sounds like this. Okay, so you've got blueberry going through almost the entire song. Uh, that's the rhythm we'll, we'll be doing. So let's take it right away from the beginning. So in every measure for this first line of the song, we're gonna play two blueberry rhythms for every pitch, for every finger that you have down. So our very first note is our third finger F sharp. So get that down on the D string, three on D, and let's to play two blueberries together on that F sharp. Here we go, one, two, and ready, play. All right, and now the next note, we're gonna put down your fourth finger G, play two blueberries on your G. Here we go, ready, and. And then lift up that four, go back to F sharp, let's do two blueberries on F sharp. Ready, measure three. And then for the last measure, lift up all your fingers onto your first finger E and two blueberries on E. Here we go. Ready, and. And that's the whole first line. So let's go back to the beginning of the line and play that straight through without stopping. Again, you're going to F sharp, measure one, to a G, back to F sharp, and then down to E, and doing two blueberries on each of those fingers. All right, let's give it a try. Ready? One, two, and ready, play. So line two is going to start off exactly the same as line one. We're going to do two blueberries for every pitch, starting on F sharp again. So let's try measure one of line two. Ready, F sharp. Measure two, put that G down just like in line one. Here's two blueberries on G. Ready, and. And now the pattern is going to change just a little bit in measure three and four. In measure three, go back to your F sharp, just like you did in line one, but we're only going to play one blueberry now per note. So here's one blueberry on F. Mm -hmm. Freeze, make it an E, go down to your first finger, do one blueberry there. Mm -hmm. And then your last measure of line two, sorry, my cat Ollie's being really loud. Ollie, shush. Shush. He doesn't like music. All right, so on our last measure of line two, you've got an open D, lift up all your fingers, and we're gonna do blueberry pie. So it's quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter. Here we go, ready, open D. Rest, okay. So here's line two now, without stopping. Remember, do two blueberries for each of the notes in the first two measures, and then just one blueberry on F, one on E, and then blueberry pie on a D at the end. Okay, so here's your F sharp line two. Ready, blue, berry, ready, play. Rest. Do you see Oliver in their cello case back there? Do your cats or dogs do that too? Do they go in your cases? <laughs> Ollie, go and take a nap in there. Okay, all right, so if you notice at the end of line two, there's a repeat sign, right? The double bar with the two dots. So once we finish that measure, we have to go back to the beginning, play the first line again, play the second line again, and then finally we can get to the very last line of music. So let's do, before we get to the last line, let's do line one and line two without stopping, okay? So back to the beginning, set up your F sharp. Here we go with two blueberries. 
And here's line one and two, no stopping. Ready? Here we go. traditional fiddle tune and uh, the ending here is something that you might hear in a lot of like fiddle music uh, it's something called shave and haircut two bits so what that is is just a rhythm it's just something they would sing uh, at the end of some barbershop music or at the end of some fiddle music like this and here's what it sounds like all together <laughs> of different songs before. Uh, so here's how you play it. So you start on your high D, fourth finger on the A string, and finally get to do some A string notes. So high D, four on A, start with that, then two open A's, then your first finger B, open A. All right, and the rhythm, if you don't want to think shave and a haircut, you can think blueberry muffin. So there's how uh, that rhythm goes. Let's try that measure again uh, without stopping this time. So here's Line three, measure one, high D, ready, and. Okay, so do that as many times as you need to. And then you can see in your music, there's a quarter rest at the end of that last measure, and it says stomp underneath. So this is where we would just stomp your foot nice and loud on the floor. And then your last two notes are just C sharp three, and then your high D, like that. So it goes stomp, at the end. So let's try all of line three without stopping now. So last line of the song, here's your high D. One, two, and ready, play. Stop. There we go. So that's that last line of the song. Okay, so again, go back and practice any parts that you need to as many times as you need to. Uh, and when you're ready, come back to this video, and now I'm going to play the whole song all the way through, and hopefully you're playing along with me. We're going to start at the beginning, do line one, do line two, do the repeat, back to line one, line two, and then finish off with line three at the very end. Okay, so here we go. Not too fast, just trying to get through the whole song without stopping. Here we go. One, two, and ready, play. <laughs> Now, there's a, a couple different ways you can play the song, too, of course, once you learn all the notes and the rhythms. Uh, like I said, it's a fiddle song, right? And fiddle doesn't mean that just the violins play it. Uh, anybody can play fiddle-style music. Uh, and if you think about fiddle music, a lot of times it's pretty fast. It's nice, fast, uh, up-paced music. Um, so, once you feel ready, you can try the song a little quicker, maybe like this. <laughs> that we'd go at the concert. 
Um, and if you're really feeling like you're up to pro status, you could try something like this. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how fast we get with that. But, uh, in any case, have some fun with this song. Uh, and feel free also to play with some of the other videos with some of the other parts. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions or any problems, please email me or Mrs. Schmidt and we'll do everything we can to help you.